Hello everyone and welcome to our blind let's play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edward Volume 1. My name is Fun Spur, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we continue on with this fantastic series. We recently just completed two Kotaro Uchi Potion games, but before that we played all three of the original trilogy of Phoenix Wright, and we will play the next trilogy after we play through both investigation games. And if you would like to see the original trilogy, you can go to the top right where there should be an I, you can click that, or you can check the description box below because there will be links to all of our playlists there. But for now, I want to jump back into this. Let's not waste any time. Episode 1, Turnabout Visitor. Let's do this. March 14th, 1.16 a.m. All the question marks. To make sure the defendant is found guilty, what other choice do I have? That's the job of a prosecutor, after all. That that may be true, but why? Why go this far? Sorry. Maybe I wasn't clear enough, but a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. No matter what the cost. Wait, this is Edward's office. Someone just murdered someone in Edward's office? Because I recognize that coat. I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Always have been. Always will be. What just happened? March 14th, 2.05 a.m. Prosecutor's building, 12th floor hallway. It's hard to believe that I've been away in my office for a whole month. I hope Detective Gumshoe has been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. <laughs> Be nice to Gumshoe, come on. Yeah, pal, I work hard, you know. Hmm, the door is unlocked. Detective Gumshoe? Hmm, what's this smell? It's very familiar. Blood. Over here. Signs of a struggle, perhaps? What the? What's the meaning of this? Away from your office for a month, you come back in. There's a person killed in your office. Freeze! And he's still here. Look at that face. I, I love the how this looks, by the way. Uh, the, the, the animations and seeing the people move around the screen. Identify yourself. Oh, the dots. Shut up. Hmm, you got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. Whoa! Is that a threat? Oh, the dots. Let me make one thing very clear. What? No one gets away with committing murder in my office. No one. Oh, the dots. Wow, you just, you just punk that punk out. Okay, we're just gonna make that work. My name is Miles Edgeworth, and I work as a prosecutor in my local district. Little did I know that upon my return home after a month abroad, I would be thrust into a multitude of cases in some very frantic and busy days. Now, before we begin, or before we get deep into this, let me just say one thing. Please, 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 please. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, let me explore this game on my own. 
Let me make my own mistakes. Let me make my own fumbling choices. Let me figure things out, out on my own. I may ask at the end of the episode, hey, can someone give me a nudge in this direction if I feel stuck? But for the most part, these games are fun because you don't know what's going to happen. So don't rob me of that and don't rob other people of that in the comment section below. Thank you all for just being amazing to each other and just awesome. With that said, March 14th, 2.56 a.m. Hi, Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. All the dots. I finishing photographing the victim's body, sir. Ah, thank you so much, Kuzuni. Or Kuzuna. Or Ka... Um, sorry, I forgot your name there. Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. Ah, I love how everything is like alive here. Oh, the dots. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at Gumshoe. Oh, I love it. Ah, Miss Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. Ah, when I heard that a murder had taken place in your office, I ran up the street I ran up here straight away, sir. This is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct. And by the way, he's also one of my favorite characters in all of Ace Attorney. If I were to rank every single character in the original Ace Attorney trilogy, there's a good chance that Gumshoe would be, if not number one, definitely in the top three. Like, without a doubt. Gumshoe is amazing. And I love Gumshoe. And then one they assigned to handle this murder case for the time being. Hey, you look a little pale, sir. Are, are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. However... Ah! Ah, look at what they did to your office! It's totally trashed! I'll say. The culprit sold my floor with dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud into my office. Not to mention all the blood. Whoa! Sounds like you're getting really burnt up over the whole thing! This crime was committed in my office, so it is my responsibility to solve it. Ho ho! Well, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth! Okay, it's time to do some investigating! Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. We must not overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. Well, we know who did it, it's that guy wearing the medal, right? Uh, uh, just like, just like in the, uh, the original Phoenix, right? You know, how we were able to see the murderer for the first case, so we kind of knew who it was, and the case was just there to teach you what's going on. So I'll keep any leads or information we find etched in the forefront of my mind. Speaking of things that pique my curiosity, why of all places did the murder occur in my office? Crime scene, my office. Is it really coincidence that the murder took place in my office? Hmm, I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. Well, yeah, I, I was wondering that myself, sir. I mean, uh, you can't really say it's just a quinky thing, can you? No, not really. Especially because of this. Ah, it's the key to your office? Uh, office key. For security reasons, this office door has a lock built into it. Ah, what do you mean, sir? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Ah, logic? By finding the connection between two pieces of information and connecting them, new information is born. That is the end result of using logic. Ah, so, uh, uh so how to use it? 
First, I recall information through the logic button and then connect them together. Now, to touch the logic button and recall the facts. Cool little scene there. Uh, to these connects, we have my office and we have the office key. So basically, the logic here is that no one could have just came into my office by accident. Someone had to, someone had to have a key to the office, which means the murder took place because someone was in my office looking for something that, I mean, we're a prosecutor, so maybe they were looking for, um, for evidence for an upcoming case that we may have had access to, but we weren't in the office for a month. So how does that work? Connect. For security reasons, all prosecuted doors are outfitted with locks. Which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it's impossible to dismiss this location as of the crime as mere coincidence. Ah, yes, well that's exactly what I was thinking, sir. There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? So why this happened, what was the killer after? Ah, you're really on the ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful logic, sir. Yes, well, when you follow leads to the conclusion, only the truth remains. However, if the information doesn't li line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. So is this our uh, HP bar? But if I think carefully before placing leads together, the logic should flow. Well, let's get started with our investigations, shall we? Ah, yes, sir! Begin investigation. Hi, prosecutor's office, room 1202. So we're the prosecutor in this game. I mean, I know that Edgeworth is a prosecutor. But I was thinking maybe he would become a defense attorney or something. Because... I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't think we would play the role of a prosecutor. That's a cool twist. The basis of any good investigation is examine everything, sir. I know that. And when I want to examine something, I simply touch the examine button. Oh, if uh, you ever feel lost and want to just talk, uh, just touch the partner button, okay? I'll give you great precise advice as an ace investigator, sir. An ace investigator. Okay, so will you take the lessons from Pearls? Uh, something to try later if I have free time, I suppose. Aw, come on, Edgy. Be nice. Let's see what happens. Ah, you called, sir? Uh, do you notice anything? Is there anything you notice that you'd like to share, Detective Gumshoe? Ah, it's just that I rushed over here as soon as I heard there was a murder in your office, sir. The investigation's just gotten started, so I guess there's not much else to say. So, uh, were you the one that found the body, Mr. Edgeworth? Unfortunately, upon my return, I found my office door to be unlocked. And what awaited me inside was this whole messy affair. Well, ouch! Well, that's rough, sir. Even though I left the security of this room to a certain detective. Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Please don't cut my salary again, sir. Aw, poor gumshoe. About investigating. I assume you understand how to conduct investigations, Detective Gumshoe. Ah, uh, of course, sir. Examine things by pointing to them and then touching the examine button. By checking various things out, we gather evidence and information. You can see the evidence we collected by touching the organizer button, sir. For information, uh, information, I'm well, uh, yeah. For information and leads, it's the logic button. Ah, that's it. Great job, sir. Detective Reasonable is the way to go.
Did I say I love Gub too? I love Gub too. Detect. I think it means de deductive reasoning. And I actually read this as deductive reasonable, and I was just like, wait a second, my brain took a couple seconds to process what he just said. Ah, oh, I love you, my friend. Yes, keep giggling. You, you are amazing. Ah, that's it. Great job, sir. Detective Reasonable is the way to go. It's called deductive. <laughs> oh. All right, we're we're already off to a great start here with this game. I I I can just tell. It's called deductive reasoning, detective. Clearly something you lack. What's this present? Oh, we can present things like, uh, oh, hello. Proof of my possession. However, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. Oh, an actual, like, shiny badge. Not like the thing, you know, that anyone can just fabricate, apparently, according to that one case. Your prosecutor's badge is really tiny compared to my police badge. Oh, but, um, it, it's really cool, sir. Much more cooler than my badge could ever be. I, I kind of wish I could press anywhere on the screen, by the way, to advance the text. This will take some getting used to. There's no need to suck up to me, detective. Oh, the dots. Aw, poor guy. Poor guy, I'm sorry. So, if I go to organizer... So, I can look at, um... Switch tabs? Oh, hello! What's this? Oh, these are people. Okay, so the victim in this case. Why was he killed in my office? So we have the unknown guy. And we have Dick Gumshoe, age 32, male. 32, 32, 32. How old was he in the, uh, in the uh, first trilogy? I thought he was, like, right around this age. So this probably takes place, what, immediately after the trilogy? Homicide detective at the local precinct in charge of local investigation. Or maybe it was 30? I think it was 30 in number 2 and it was 31 in number 3. Don't tell me, by the way. Let me, uh, let me try to piece this together. Unless... It, unless it's not important. And you're like, Flies Bird is not really important when this happens. Don't worry. This takes place after the first trilogy. That'll be fine. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh! Okay, ah! Okay, this is... That'll take some getting used to. So, we have to move around the screen. Which is really cool that we can move around the screen, but I can't just click on things. I have to go next to them. And hit examine. Ouch! They even knocked over your chair seat! I had it all set up, ready for you when you get back! I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were interested in chess. Well, I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I thought a good chess to try. Aww. He just wants to time with, uh, Edgeworth, that's all. Hmm, in that case, I suppose I could set some time aside after we solve this case. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I know you're thinking you could just kick his butt easily, but, you know, spend some quality time with the guy. He's a good guy. Though I don't expect the games to tax my mental acuity much. I never know. Maybe it's not going to tax your mental acuity as far as logic goes, but maybe it'll touch your, um, your, uh, social ability, you know, to make more friends. Here's the obvious thing on the ground. What have we here? Could this perhaps be the murder weapon? If so, it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. I think I've seen one of those before. Hmm. Care to enlighten me as to where? Oh, I know. I was issued the exact same model. All the dots. I, I think. Wait, that's a police gun? Ah, uh, detective. I don't really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous. <laughs> Never change, Gumshoe. But now that I think about it, you do see this mall around the precinct a lot, sir. I don't use mine much, except in emergencies. So that's why I don't recognize it. 
So, it's the same type of revolver as the ones used by the precincts detectives. Okay, find out the crime scene. It's the same model as used by those precincts. Okay. Do you have anything to report? Sir, yes sir! Nothing out of the ordinary right now, sir! And yet, there's something out of the ordinary right in front of my eyes! Ah, talk about a contradiction! Something out of the ordinary, huh? I should look around a bit more. Alright. I hope we can solve this case quickly. I'd like to return to relaxing on this sofa. Well, that thing looks like a billion times softer than my mattress at home. C c can I sit on it too, sir? Just for a little while, sir? Detective Gumshoe. You know I can't allow that. Oh, come on, Edgy. Until this case is solved, neither of us have time to spare, let alone rest. All right, so we didn't say no. We just said not right now. Oh, the X made dots. Ah, you're right, sir. I'm gonna work hard and be a real trooper to the end, sir. Even once this case is over, I don't think he can afford to take any time off. Well, if you give him a raise. That would help. All right, uh, portrait? Wait, this is the same line. That's the same line. But I'm looking at, that's talk. That's, oh, okay. So it seems like since you just can't click on things to explore, the game has like a bubble around things. So, the fact that I can only talk here means I can't investigate this yet. So, this may be a way of the game, like, locking this off for later. Because there's something definitely suspicious about this. I mean, there's a bullet hole here, and it looks like there's something behind the picture as well. Uh, safe, perhaps. Hey, Kagami, what's up? How is it coming along? Please, I need absolute silence. Fingerprint lifting is a delicate art. Well, I never. Yes, in my world, I like to believe that uh, Kotaro Uchikoshi's world and uh, Ace Attorney have collided. Is this yet another batch of fresh flowers? Ah, the ones that come with a card attached every month like clockwork for you? Ah, uh, yep. Speaking of that, uh, let's see what's on the card this month, sir. All will be resolved. Wendy. <laughs> oh, Miss Irony. How painful are thy thorns. Ah, Wendy. Ah, isn't that, uh, isn't that the name of that old lady with the whiny voice that's a uh, stock? Enough, detective. You need not remind me further. <laughs> And I love how you can see the animations on the uh, the characters as well. So we got a uh, steel samurai here. Well, it's a good thing my steel samurai doll was spared any harm. Speaking of which, I, I still haven't actually sat down and watched any of that show. What? Ah, what's it about again? Well, I don't know much about it myself, but. The hero of the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, is the Steel Samurai. And its goal is to defeat the evil magistrate. It's a show geared towards kids. However, its high production values and riveting plot draws in a number of adults as well. Spin offs like Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo, and the Nickel Samurai along with the deluge of merchandise and even a new stage show give it presents. Uh, uh, you, you sure know a lot, sir. Are you sure you're not some sort of rabid fanboy? Oh, the XMA dots, oh, of course not. Anyone that keeps up with society knows at least this much. And that conversation lasted longer than expected. Let us return to the investigation. Oh, come on, don't be embarrassed. I mean, you and Pearls could like sit down and watch that show or Maya. You and Maya. Yeah, that's a good idea. You and Maya can sit down and watch that show non-stop together. Oh, it's your trophy. The, um, Knight of Prosecutors, right? K 
king. It's a king of prosecutors. It's not a trophy, it's a shield. Ah, they only send this to the winning prosecutor, right? Yes, but I have no real interest in the perceived worth of other people. Oh, come on, yes you do. As for my own worth, that is something only I can determine for myself. Ah, uh -uh, that's so slick, sir. Uh, I'm gonna have to try seeing that sometime. You're so cool. Unfortunately for him, his monetary worth is tied directly to his worth to me. Aww, but he really likes you. Hello, there's something on the floor here. Ah, watch out for the teacup fragments there, sir. Uh, the killer is going to pay this tea set. Yikes, you're really mad over this. This tea set is very dear to my heart and can only be bought in England. It costs more than your whole month's paycheck. Holy cow. What? Well, now I feel like the killer's wasted one of my monthly paychecks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... Oh, again, I love the animation. It's so good. What did this originally come out on? Uh, I think it was a DS? I'm playing on, uh, LD Player, by the way. It's... It's a, uh, Android, uh, emulator. This way I can get, you know, as full screen as possible. Uh, obviously it's not full full screen, it wasn't designed to be. And I can't really stretch it without losing some of the integrity on the top down. But they give this, you know, it's not black bars at least on the sides. It's been a while since I sat at this desk. Oh, how I've missed you. Hmm. It's so tidy, that looks newer than when I first bought it. Oh, yeah! Now that thing's so polished that it makes mirrors jealous! Don't tell me you had no other work the entire time I was away, detect- Man, my job is to protect your office, sir! And you did such a good job protecting it that a murder occurred in it! Oh, the dots! Oh, well, that's harsh, sir! I have to admit, the desk has never looked better, so I guess I can't dock his pay. Aww! Good, 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 good. I'm glad. Here. Here we go. They finished photographing the body, so it should be alright to examine this area. I was actually trying to examine here. I guess, like, the circular area is pretty big, so you don't need to be exactly on top of something. I won't rest until I've look inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Oh. Okay, uh, let's start with the books. Your- Ah, your files are all over the floor, sir! They probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. Uh, signs of a struggle. My files are a mess point to a struggle between the victim and the killer. But we know, because we have Metavision, that they were talking to each other when one killed the other. So, why does it look... Hmm. Ah, and I tried so hard to keep this place spotless while you were away, sir! I mean, this just rendered all my time and effort I put in pointless! I don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. Oh, come on! Before we came into this room, you were saying, I hope Gumshoe kept my place clean. Well, I wanted the flowers every day, just like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the flat list as a weekend special. For about half a day every Saturday, I come in and clean the place until it sparkled, sir. Aw, Gumshoe's so awesome. Does he have a life? He, he just... Everything's about you, man. What do we have here? Hey, I think I've seen one of those before. It's a police badge, detective. Oh, hey, I had the exact same thing, actually. What a coinkydink. <laughs> All the dots. Let's take a look inside. Mr. Buddy Faith. So he's a detective. 
So it was the detective and who was his friend that he was arguing with? It would appear that a victim was a detective just like you. Point to his badge and ID, Buddy Faith was a precinct detective. Hmm, I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Well, can we check the body first? Let's see here. Hmm, there's blood all over the lower abdomen area. Eh, it looks like the bullet passed clean through his stomach area, sir. In other words, he was shot. Yep, and until the autopsy's done, I don't think we'll know much more than that, sir. Please have the bodies sent to the morgue once they're done processing the crime scene. Crime scene notes jot it down, okay. Are you going to be okay with keeping track of the evidence we find, sir? Of course. This is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. Alright, you say so? I keep all the evidence I find either in or with my organizer. When I want to re-examine a piece, I have but to touch the organizer button. But the organizer isn't only for evidence. I keep people's profiles on hand in it too. Yes, we've already figured that out. It's probably a good idea to make a habit of checking the facts often. Alright, so let's back up. Let's look at the organizer. Uh, body was found around 2.05. Okay. Uh, tabs. So, Buddy Faith is 29. Why was he killed in my office? And we can hit partner to go to present and then the notes right I'm just a lowly detective so uh I'm not sure what I should do with that other than to rest it <laughs> is that the only talent you have oh wait oh dear lord look at his face oh I love him the info I've gathered I seem to have picked up a few good leads. Oh, so now you're gonna do that thing you do with all that information, right? What are you babbling about? Ah, the brainy thing you were just talking about a few minutes ago, sir. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Uh, logic. You said that you can look at all of your leads and info by touching the logic button. Then you pick the pieces you want to connect by touching them and hitting connect. Well, that's your way of investigating, right, sir? Yes, which is why this exercise in explaining my own method to me was unnecessary. Well, okay then, how about I explain my logic to you next? That is even more unnecessary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the logic button. By the way, if I sound a little weak today, or hear me sniffling in the background, or painting, um, and not painting like as in putting colors on the wall, but painting as in breathing, uh, I've had that very bad illness that's going around, um, and I've been trying to recover. The only problem is, I'm pretty sure it's going to take me about three to four weeks to fully cover as far as my throat and coughs go. So, I'm gonna do my best. Alright, what are the things that connect? Okay, let's look at these. Killer's goal. Why did this happen in my office? Is there something here that says... What the killer was after? Well, there's signs of a struggle. Pointing to a struggle between the victim and killer. So, these two connect. The victim was a detective. That's not the killer's goal. Revolver, that's not the killer's goal. However, the revolver is a detective weapon, and the victim was a detective. 
So these two might connect, and these two might connect. Is there only one right answer here, or is there multiple? Like, I really feel these two are the strongest piece of evidence we have, but... These two could connect as well. Let's try. Seem to fizzle. Hmm, the pieces don't fit together quite right. Oh, that wasn't good. Alright, so... I guess, even though the files are a mess, and there's a struggle, that doesn't necessarily mean why he was in his office. So that's why they don't connect. I believe these connect, though. Oh, that wasn't a fizzle. The revolver, the standard model used by detectives, could it have belonged to our recently departed? Detective Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? Ah, yes, sir. On it right now, sir. Excuse me, pal. Let's see. What do we got here? By the way, pal reference number one. And I said this in, um... I said this in our previous trilogy, but I love how Gumshoe will call people pal, except Edgeworth. Edgeworth you'll call sir, you know? Mr. Edgeworth, sir! See what I mean? Ah, uh, this guy's wearing a gun holster! Yeah, he is, right there. Hmm... So it appears that her killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. Victim's revolver data jot down. Okay. Let's see what else we can find out about this revolver. As I always say, you gotta look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You can use a scroll wheel to rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. Use the slide bar to zoom in and out and get at the nitty gritty. Okay. Oh. Like this. Uh, the bullets, perhaps? Can I... Maybe do this? Aha! It looks like only one round was fired from this. But we know one round was fired at us. So if only one bullet was fired, that means there has to be a second weapon. Wow, so the killer killed the Vic with just one shot after wrestling the gun from him? Sounds like the guy knew how to handle a gun, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? We have no proof for now, but that is a distinct possibility. I guess this is about all we're going to find out. We should send the body to Ott. Jim! Whoa. Why, oh why? How could this happen to a guy like you? Oh, the dots? Are you alright? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Just let me be! Sorry, but I can't do that. Who is this? He looks familiar. Is this the guy from the beginning? The guy who murdered him? The investigation is still ongoing. So please refrain from touching the body. That is the guy, look. He's got the badge. Or the medal. This is the guy who did the crime. The body? Body! <sighs> Don't talk about him like he's just a lump of flesh. Look at him. Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night. Uh, um, I'm sure. Just in a bloodstained suit, pal. Ah, where are my manners? Aren't you that prosecutor? So he's a prosecutor? Portsman. Why, yes I am. I'm Jacques Portsman. Prosecutor. Jim here was my partner in crime busting. I'm Miles Edgeworth. And like you, I am also a prosecutor. Ah, Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. So, you're Miles Edgeworth. I guess this is your office. 
Yes, that is correct. Well, then it was you! You, the one who killed Jim! Ah, uh, hey, uh, don't go around jumping to conclusions, pal! Just calm down, okay? I will not! I know how things work around here! Hi, prosecutor's office doors all have locks built into them. And only the owner of the office has a key to his own office door. Well, that is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. Wait a second. Does it Gumshoe have a key to the office? Well, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip the whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time, okay? So the only one who could get in here was me. Oh, 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 no! No, 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 no. Someone's trying to frame our gumshoe. Well, at least it's not my for a change. Ah, uh, wait, oh uh, wait, uh, all that means, uh, all the dots. You know, I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's something bad. So, it was you then. You're Jim's killer. I, I no way, pal. You got it all wrong. Everyone, calm down. Ah, oh, the excavated dots. Mr. Portsman, correct? If you are a real prosecutor, you should know to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? Ah, I'm right. I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot headed sometimes. I'm sure, I'm one cool customer though, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, the dots. I heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know? Anyway. Let's call a truce and work together, okay? Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Oh, the I don't think so dots. But it is a pleasure to work with you. He's gonna leave him hanging. Yep, he's just gonna leave him hanging. You guys are conducting an investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on then. It's your room after all. Thank you, I intend to. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. Hey, you there. Uh, sir? Aw, Kagami made a friend. Look at that. Well, I want you to capture the scene on film for me. My final farewell to my partner, Jim. Ah, oh, Jim. How I loved you. Let me count the ways. You were the man. You were the star in my eyes. You were the... Oh, the dots. Uh, I should probably give them some space. Oh, he moved from the uh, the portrait now, though. So we can go examine here. Just as I thought. So they were blocking this off for now, but we could go back to it later. So when I investigate, don't be worried about investigating like small little spots on the map, but you know, the, the big areas. Ah, your jacket, sir. What's it doing on the floor? It must have fallen off the wall when the killer tried to threaten me by firing around. So the killer not only shot the victim, but sh they shot your jacket as well? They they dare to, to they dare to shoot the ultra special jacket that you made your prosecutor to bay you in? What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster, sir. It's not worth getting worked out over, detective. Not when there's something more here. Huh? Well, like what, sir? I take it you hadn't noticed it yet, detective. There is a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Ah, uh, really? Did I say contradiction? Hmm. He must be rubbing off on me. I'm starting to sound like him. Yeah, this, this definitely has to be after, like, the third game, right? But I have my own methods, and I will conduct this investigation my way. In other words, don't expect this game to play like Phoenix Wright. When the scene before me contradicts a piece of evidence or seems off, 
that's when my detective skills come into play. First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Well, that's obvious. It's a hole. This is it. The bullet hole is where the contradiction lies. When I spot something, that's all. I should touch the deduce button with conviction. And when I have found sufficient proof to prove the contradiction, I present it. This is how I do things. Point out the contradiction. Um, the gun. Only one shot was fired, but believed to be the murder weapon. If only one shot was fired and this believed to be the murder weapon, why are there, why is the bullet hole here? Because there should be two bullets missing. Yeah, there should be two bullets missing. One for the murder, and one for the, uh, uh, for the, the warning shot. Uh, present. This bullet hole is the contradiction. Uh, what do you mean, sir? It's elementary. Two shots were fired in this room. The first fell the victim. And the second fell the frame. Hey, uh, that's right. Yeah, we know that. However, this gun was only fired once. Hey, that's true too. Which means that one of these two bullets was fired from a different gun. Did the killer have another gun prepared for tonight? Other than the victim's gun that I found, could there be another gun in play here? By the ah, uh, by the way, I, I noticed something, sir. Yes. Ah, uh, what's that thing sticking out from behind the frame? Ah, uh, that. It's a secret safe. A, a secret safe? Oh, oh, I smell money. I'll spare us the trouble and just say it. Nothing like that. N nothing like what you're imagining is inside. Now, if you could kindly move the frame out of the way. Ah, Roger that. Hachoo, hachoo! Man, talk about dusty. I suppose that's what happens when I'm not geared to dust it once in a while. I had no idea there was a safe here. I would have kept it clean for you, sir. So when did you put this thing in? It wasn't something I had installed personally. Every prosecutor's office has one. Ah, really? I had no idea. But it looks like there's... Like, markings here. So, did someone break into his office to try to get into whatever's in this safe? Well, only prosecutors are supposed to have knowledge of their existence. So, what's inside, Mr. Edgeworth? Right now? Nothing. Okay, well that, that, there, there goes that idea right out the window. <laughs> we only use them to store especially important evidence when a trial is in session. Well, that's it. Talk about squashing my hopes and dreams. Secret safe data jotted down in my organizer. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay, um, check the numbers or the thing? Let's check the numbers first. Hmm, now this is odd. You found something, sir? This keypad. Don't you find it to be a bit too clean. Okay, so I guess if I clicked on the keypad, it's it's going to get this area as well. Well, yeah! There's a thick layer of dust all around it, but not on the keypad itself. Okay, so that... Oh, I see now. So this is really clean, and this is dusty. You there, the forensic scientist, Kaz... Kaga... You. Yes, you, over here. Uh, yes, sir? Could you please dust this area for fingerprints? Ah, uh, you got it, sir! All the dots. I could have found, let alone lift a single print. Looks like it was wiped down well. All the fingerprints on this have been wiped clean off. Secret safe data updated in my organizer. 
As I thought, it appears that logic is the only way around this setback. Time to rationally and calmly play connect the dots with the information we have. Alright, so I gotta go to logic. Okay. Um, killer's goal and the fingerprints. They're trying to get what's inside the safe. I believe I have figured out what the murderer was after. Ah, well, what is it, sir? The fact that the safe was wiped clean of fingerprints suggests that the criminal had at least attempted to open my safe. Making the culprit's motive for breaking and entering theft, I believe. So he didn't know it was empty, but that doesn't stop someone from trying to get into it thinking that there is something in there. I wonder if knowing that the motive behind this break-in was theft changes what the other piece of information could tell me about the crime. Okay, so motive is theft. And there were signs of a struggle? Or was it another handgun? Um... Well, no, the fact that there's all these things on the ground suggests that that they were looking for someone to steal. Yes, exactly. There is a possibility that the files played on the floor are not the result of a struggle between the victim and his killer. Oh, you mean like it could be from when the killer tried to find something, sir? Precisely. We need to figure out if any of the files have been stolen. Ah, yes, sir. I'm gonna shell files like you've never seen before, even at a library, sir. Um, sure. Let's give that a try. Ah, uh, why do all the good ones always have to die young? Surely you must find it out every once in a while, Miss Edgeworth. Oh, the dots. No matter how much we lament, the dead will not come back to life. All we can do is search for the truth. How the dots? Well, and? So what are we supposed to do? How do we go about finding the truth? First, we calmly restore the files to their rightful place. Ah, you got it. Here, let me help. Um... So, uh, this file goes here, and, uh, that book, uh, goes there. You sure know a lot about where things go, despite it being, you know, Mr. Edge was office. And that's because I'm the one who keeps it tidy, pal. Okay, I'm done. It would appear that the murder was definitely committed here. Ugh. <sighs> the book stains on the blood, sh the blood stains on the bookshelf are still fresh. I suspect that the victim was killed in his standing position, hence the prints on the shelf. And and then the guy fell right under the floor, right? The blood on the floor is kind of grossing me out. Detective, I don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. Eh, <sighs> but you know I'm no good with blood, sir. I'm certain there's something wrong with this picture. There is something wrong with this picture. Because, if he was shot in the abdomen, and you remember they were both standing up, why is the bullet hole way down here? Should the bullet hole be like, I don't know, somewhere up here? Not on the bottom? Let's explore first. Ah, it's the victim's handprints. He must have tried to support himself with his hands here after being shot. Ah, there are prints on the floor, too, sir. Those must have been made when, unable to stay standing, he dropped to the floor. But again, this bullet hole. So this is where the bullet lodged itself after it went through the victim, huh? For the bullet to be lodged so squarely in a file spine. 
indicates that the files were ransacked after the shooting had occurred. Then I guess... Uh, then I guess the victim was moved because he was in the killer's way. Hey? The Dukes. Is this bot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Uh, yeah, the body. I like the Eureka there. I, I can't do that voice, by the way. I'm just going to continue with the Edgeworth voice. There is clearly a contradiction here with this bullet hole. Uh, uh, what do you mean, sir? You don't see. Quite simply, the bullet hole itself is too low. If the victim was shot in the stomach, the hole should be much higher up. Exactly! Exactly! I like when the protagonists are on the same page. Ah, but what if the guy was shot while he was sitting or lying down, sir? Well, that would be illogical. The victim leaned against the shelf here after being shot. Which suggests that he was standing when he was shot. Well, then that means, uh, uh all the dots, uh... Wait, uh, what does that mean, sir? It means you need to use your brain every once in a while instead of mine, detective. Ouch, harsh. In any case, it means someone made a faulty assumption. And it was from this mistake that our current contradiction was born. What is a faulty assumption that caused a problem with this bolt hole's position? Well... The position of the body, the position of handprints, the order of the files. Um, the position of the body. Because the body wasn't on the ground, he was standing up, right? If the victim was shot while he was lying down. Ah, wait! Did you say that line of reasoning is illogical, sir? You said the victim leaned against the shelf here right after being shot. I was trying to be nice and explain my complex logic in an easier way for you to understand, detective. Oh, really? Well, thanks for thinking of me, sir. Good. I don't think you noticed my mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. Oops. Um, I, I love how suave he is by just making it sound like he didn't make a mistake there. Uh, the order of the files in. Because if he was standing up, shouldn't this file be up here? I believe the order of the files is a bit off. Hey, you mean I put them in the wrong order just now? Hey, actually, I think the labels are on, on the files are all wrong, sir. Oh? I mean, yeah. See here how the files that were shot begin with the number zero? What are those doing all the way down there after one, two, and three? I mean, that's really weird, sir. Actually, the way they're organized now is the correct order. They are exactly as I see them in my mind's eye. But the numbers are all out of order, sir. Those white binders are special, so they are arranged a little differently. But from this, we know that the files were not in this order when the crime occurred. Aha! So that's it. I believe the killer made the same correct assumption as you just did, detective. Let's rearrange the files in numerical order and see what we find out. Do you think it'd be okay to pop the body back up to see how it was before it was moved, sir? They finished processing the crime scene, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. If you please, detective Gumshoe. Whoa! Whoa! What happened to his head? Alright. I mean, this is a port of the DS, so there may be some glitches. It's gonna happen. As I suspected, the bullet hole is now where it should logically be. The killer went through my files before shooting Mr. Faith. And then put the files back in numerical order, I guess. What is this over here? Seems like... Uh, like, why, why are there blood stains here? And it's very weird blood stains too. Because they're not all connected or splattered. Exactly, and then proceed to shoot the victim. But why But why would someone kill a man and then look through your files one more time, sir? Puzzling indeed. 
The files were thrown into this ray twice. Once before and once after the crime, but why? Now, the crime scene is as it was the time of the murder. Time to give it another look. I really want to know what's up over here, but let me check this first. As I suspected, the bullet hole is now where it should logically be. And we figured out that the killer went through your bookshelf twice, sir! Indeed. There are many things the killer did that don't make sense. But to figure out the whys, we need more information. Over here. The this. And uh, what is this? Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Someone's trying to frame our boy, Gumshoe. Look, that's his name. This is exactly like the first murder trial in that other visual novel crime game, which I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it if people don't know what I'm talking about. But if you know what I'm talking about, this right here jumps out at you as that's definitely he was dying with his last bit of energy. He raised his finger and he wrote his killer's name, but he did it upside down. So the words came out upside down, but he was already dead. This didn't happen this way, so that means someone's trying to frame Gumshoe. Uh, what, what is that? Why does it say Gumshoe on there in blood? Wow, that's... This game is like, okay, you guys have seen this trick before. We're not going to draw it out. And we're going to have Gumshoe solve this. <laughs> Why well, say it's some incredibly incriminating evidence? Yes, indicative of a criminal activity indeed. Uh, uh, no, wait, uh, there's gotta be some mistake. Mr. Andrew, sir, help me, say something, sir. Oh, the dots. It appears that one of my files was stolen. Edgy, how about your friend first? Is that all, sir? What about me and my situation? Is this what the killer was really after? Stolen file, jot it down. Investigation complete. Oh, okay. Ah, looks like Jim was able to leave us the name of the killer in the end. Yeah, but Gumshoe didn't do it. Gumshoe wouldn't do this. You did it. We know you did it. So you're trying to frame Gumshoe. You, I, I really don't like you. I really, really, really don't like you. Don't frame our boy. Our boy's awesome. He doesn't deserve that. <sighs> all right, anyway, we're going to go ahead and stop here. Thank you, everyone, for everything. I love you all so very much. Uh, since this is the first video of a new playlist, I... Humbly ask if you could just do one thing. That's hit that thumbs up button to like the video. Hey, subscribe if you're not subscribed as well. Come join us. Love to have you here. Comment in the comment section below with no spoilers. I would love to welcome you to the uh, community or, you know, we could talk about this amazing game. Uh, and also, I want to give a huge shout out to our wonderful, amazing Patreons, ChittyQT and Techno Trouble. Uh, you guys are, you guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like to join our amazing, incredible friends over on Patreon, uh, the link will be in the description below. But for now, until next time on a blind Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, I am stoked. I am hooked. I am, I'm ready for more Ace Attorney. I'm, I'm really interested in this dynamic of us being the prosecutor instead of the defendant. Unless we become the defendant because we defend uh, Gumshoe. But I'm pretty sure Edgeworth has... Uh, prosecutorial seniority here. So Gumshoe would have to put, I'm sorry, uh, Edgeworth would have to arrest Gumshoe, right? And I don't think he's going to do that because that would be kind of weird if we arrested the guy who we know was innocent and had to prove him guilty. God, I hope it doesn't come to that. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful night. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.